Okay. I think we're recording. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm not sure. But I'm not. But you know, I I I think we probably are. Does anybody know the score? <laughs> uh, last time I checked, it was three to nothing. Three nothing. Beavers. Beavers. Why would you want to have a team called the Beavers anyway? Uh, well, you know, it kind of goes with Portland up there, you know, with the old... Uh, Wouldn't that be uh, or or yeah, Oregon State Beavers? Well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful day here at Grizzly Stadium. Uh, highs here in the uh, mid-80s. Uh, it feels like 90. You know, I was watching uh, ESPN the other night, my old hometown Milwaukee, and uh, it actually was snowing there last week, believe it or not, for opening day. Well, yeah, well, I, I, you, know, I, you know, I did see that, and... Uh, it, I'm, I'm surprised they even played as much as they did before they, uh, they delayed the game. Yeah, I saw the highlights over there at Wrigley. Uh, snow, snow on top of the vines there at Wrigley Field. <laughs> so you gotta love, got to love the weather out here. Oh, it's, no it's just beautiful here that. in Fresno. Uh, Brittany Castro steps in now. Here in the uh, top of the third inning. Here's the first pitch. Lays a drag bomb down on the right-hand side. Comes up with it. Tosses over the first, but he's going to beat that out. Boy, that was a good-looking bunt there, textbook. That was textbook bunt. I think it took the Grizzlies by surprise. We got a runner on first base now. Got some good speed at first base, so we need to watch the steal here. Corey DeHaan now steps in with runner at first base here in the top of the third inning. Three nothing, Portland. Oh, we've been practicing. Yeah, we're uh, we're warming up a little. Yeah. Bit. It's the uh, fake deke over the first base. That was just a warm up chase. I've already uh, gone through my best stories. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll have to. Uh, <laughs> You'll have to resort to some Nielsen stuff. Yeah. I will. I, I will. <laughs> the Go drill work related here. The drill bit story. Yeah. <laughs> Pitcher tosses over the first base, gets the the runner to dive back and get his uniform dirty. Sometimes you figure that they do that intentionally just to get them all dirtied up here. Look, they picked him off over their first base. Nice play there. Well, I could tell they, uh, they, they respected his Pick speed. Pick play by Brian Powell. Excellent play. Catches the Napping runner. off first base. He not was only, dozing over there, no doubt. Not only he was picked off, now his uniform is doubly dirty. So, Kind of hard to tell, though, with that, uh, the, the black shirts there that the Portland Beavers are wearing. you got to figure that's going to work to the Grizzlies' advantage because they're they got to be at least, you know, 20 degrees hotter. You, that, would, think, and that, uh, and that. you would think they might want to change their uh, shirts when they come here to Fresno, especially around June, July. And you, wear, you definitely want to wear the grays instead of the black. Here's the 1-0 pitch. This ball's popped up to the uh, short center field there. Center field comes in, makes a beautiful, beautiful catch. Not textbook, no two hands on that one. Right, Bill? Thought that might be a Texas leaguer there, but uh, right, hit sky high up the center field. The easy catch for the center fielder. Former Major League All-Star Brady Anderson now steps in. Well, I remember when he played for the Baltimore Orioles. Quite a talent in the Major Leagues. Three-time All-Star? Yes. Not too long ago, he hit 50-plus home runs. But now uh, he's in the only AAA league. Up 38 in, years old, going on 39. Up in Portland. I don't know how much time he's got left. Probably about 10 minutes. <laughs> There's a ground ball to third base. What a nice dive and play. Gets him out at first. The side is retired. Nice shot. He hit the ball hard. Yeah. No runs on one hit. No errors. Nothing left on. I would say we go to commercial, but we're not broadcast quality. So. <laughs> well, I tell you, there's uh, just nothing like the uh, Miller Genuine draft here at the old ballpark. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about that all winter. Finally, <laughs> finally made it out here today in such a beautiful you know, I, you know, I forgot to ask you, how was that MGD, by the way? You know, it was cold. I'm not quite sure if it was as cold as last year. Uh, but, you know, I went to a game last year. It was 90 degrees out there in the outfield. We just roasted. Well, maybe it was because it was hotter. And, yeah, yeah and, and, that, that could be the, the temp temperature differential with that, uh, that Miller Genuine draft. Uh, Felt a little bit colder last year, I think. A little promotional thing. Wildhead Bobblehead Night, April 19th here at the ballpark. First, 10 fans will get yourselves a bobblehead. 10 fans. 
because remember, this is a cost-cutting operation that they run here at the President Grizz. Now, today is Businessmen's Day, is that right? That's Tess? right. Two for one day here at the ballpark where you get one ticket and you get another one. When you buy one, you get one free. And as you see, we have a, a, oh, a huge crowd today. Packed, yeah. almost near capacity crowd here today. Uh, paid attendance is almost near 12,000. But actual attendance is probably about well, 50. I'll take a few zeros off of that, and I think we might uh, get close to the actual uh, attendance here today. And uh, as we see, Patrick McGinnis, the video production director, taking snapshots of myself and Mr. Bill Beaton. Troy Lunsford now is going to step in. Wearing number 22. <laughs> From South Haven, Missouri. Looking there at a first pitch ball. What can you tell me there about Trey Lunsford, uh, Bill? Trey Lunsford, uh, well, as you mentioned, uh, he is from, uh, you said he's from Missouri? Uh, South Haven, uh, Mississippi, or Missouri. Uh, I'm not. Like, this is Odessa, Texas here. Uh, wow. Well, we got, we got conflicting information. The Giants' number three draft pick in uh, 2000. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh, prospect. Hit that's that's going to hit him right on the hand. Umpire is tapping himself on the hand to make sure that everybody knows that the batter got hit in the hand like we didn't know when the batter went out. Carlos Hernandez steps in with a runner at first base here in the bottom of the third. Bill's trying to... I'm trying to find some uh, pertinent information here, Chase. Trying uh, to find some creative, this, uh, creative information. Awesome program here. It is a good program, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. It's beautiful. Well, we got the, the trainer looking at the batter at first base. Uh, putting some ice on that hand. Hopefully he doesn't lead off too much because he would not want to get his uniform dirty. Carlos Hernandez from Garces, Venezuela. The right-hander steps in, runner at first base. Pitcher out of the stretch in the pitch. Outside for a ball. So what would you be doing right about now, Bill, if you weren't calling this game today? Well, you know, I uh, should be at work today right now, but, uh, you know, it's a baseball tradition to play hooky and uh, get off of work uh, when you can. As I explained to a guy in the stands there, that tradition's been, uh, been around as long as baseball. So Routine ground ball, double play on the second for one on the two. Two down here in the bottom of the third. Hard hit ball, but right to him. Well, Grizzlies struggling to get something started here in the... Uh, Lovely downtown Fresno here. But the pitcher, who gave up three runs here in the top, the first steps in now. Brian Powell from Brainbridge, Georgia. Oh, I'm sorry, Bainbridge. I, I, I said Brain. I apologize. There's the pitch. High and inside for ball two. Need to talk it up here, Bill. Okay, okay. What a what a beautiful day here at the ballpark. You know, I had a. I think uh, we've established that one. Yes, we have. You know, you know when Cold I walked strike. in today, um, I had my special Wisconsin moment, and I had to go right to the Bavarian bratwurst. And how was oh, that Bavarian I'm bratwurst? You, that that rivaled anything I've ever had at Milwaukee County Stadium. Ball fouled back, two and two, the count to Powell. Never had a bratwurst. Took a step back to Milwaukee there for a second. Fresno does definitely not compare to Milwaukee to 30 degrees weather. What a huge difference. Choppert over the first base. Routine played for first baseman. This side is retired. Kind of an easy inning there. One, two, three. Yeah, it was one, two, three on both sides of the of the, of the coin there. We're just going to keep it going here. Okay, you know, this has got to be one of the better ballparks uh, in the uh, AAA organization. I've been to a few ballparks around the country, but I tell you, this is one of the best I've ever seen. Oh, I see. In between innings, we, we go oh, to the... Oh, there we are. Yeah, we, uh, we go to the camera. One thing, I, you know, I appreciate about, uh, about Grizzly Stadium is the fact that uh, 
it's a, like a major league ballpark on a minor league scale. Another thing I really appreciate, you know, I'll be back out here in a couple weeks with the uh, Buchanan. Uh, let me do a quick plug for the Buchanan. Yeah, go ahead. Ruth plug, plug your, plug your and, team. And uh, we'll be out here with the kids in a couple weeks on a Saturday. We'll be uh, on the field for the national anthem. Oh, that's great. And uh, that's something that the kids look forward to every year. Last year we were out on the field and 